What can I do with you? Huh. I've been looking for a use for a spruce for a long, long time to do some terrain with them. And that's why I keep all the time some to do some terrain with them. When we represent the crop fields in our wargame table, we have great resources like the carpet to make wheat fields, which works perfectly on our table. But this piece of terrain, these wheat fields, they do not block the vision, they do not block the line of sight. So I, I was thinking on how to give a new dimension to the farm corpse, and it occurred to me that corn fields could be worked perfect. These have hate enough to remove the line of sight from a human miniature. And this will give us more variety of crops. I consider myself a farmer, a new farmer, and growing your food and your garden and it's really, really rewarding. Let's see what it's like to do it in miniature. Since we want to remove the line of sight, these crops will have to be larger than 28 millimeters. So I have made them between 40 and 50 millimeters. Remember that not all the plastic have the same, like, I don't know, density. Now seriously, please, be careful when using a sharp blade. Always, always use as much security as possible. We should never, never use a sharp blade in the direction of our fingers, ever. The correct way would be to use our cutting mat and make the cuts downwards to avoid any accident. That say, we're going to make small cuts in the corners, trying not to go too deep into the cut and keep it uh, like its superficial layer to gradually remove what will be the corn leaves. The idea is not to make the cut neither too fine or too deep, something in between. And here we can see why it's so, so important to make security measures whenever we use any tools, always. For the basis, I will use wooden ice cream sticks and air drying clay. Remember two things, put some glue behind the clay because the clay by itself it doesn't stick. And second, if you like it so far, Please consider subscribe and give it a like, please. And so, okay, try to space the plants alike. So by in the end, the group seems to have some other. Here is an important trick. So that our wood stick do not warp due to the humidity of the clay or the PVA glue. We put some weight on the top of it until it dries. Important. I first paint them all with ochre color, with the paint a little bit diluted to be able to pass the soft brush without compromising these cuts and, and don't break any plant. And then, once dry, giving them a dry brush with a sand color and another yellow color maybe to give them a little more interest. So let's finish the bases with the usual sand or beach sand and try try not to fill the holes of the where the corn is gonna be. Keep in mind that if we do this part in baking paper, we make sure that nothing sticks. So use some baking paper. The 
this can be a repetitive task so I went full Lego last mold and try three at the same time. That count as one. So after painting them, we can decorate them with a bit of fried rope. They will look like all fallen leaves or the compost that a farmer has been able to use. You just have to put a bit of rope on the basis and stick it with a sand fixer. And if you don't have one of these products, don't worry, because you can use PBA glue perfectly. And the final step, join the corn to the bases with a lot, a lot of glue because they must withstand the wear and tear of bottles and bottles. You can also put some grass flock on it, but I personally prefer the finish without integrating it because although it looks much better. This way you can put the crops on any ground like a desert or maybe mountain or... You can always add some fences or bocage to border it. This is perfect for gaming, so because you can because you can get the miniatures inside and remove the crops without problem and losing the space where they are covered, like, like something like more gaming wise. Remember that corn did not arrive to Europe until about the 1600, and that's why we might not use this terrain in some saga expansions but they are great well i hope this inspired you in the hobby and this push you to make your own crop fields for your own wargaming terrain super easy and cheap because i made it with spruce and well, if you like it, please consider subscribe and share it with your friends, it helps a lot, and see you next time!